Hello, everybody. I'm Richard Osman. Hooray. It is Friday. We've reached the end of the week. We've reached the final of this week's House of Games. It's been super competitive. There's been some great quizzing as well. At the end of today, we discover who takes home this trophy. Who's been playing this week? They've been playing ever so well, and they are Samira Ahmed, John Robbins, Angela Rippon, and Dom Jolly. Welcome, welcome, everybody. What a week we're having. Samira, we will start with you. John won the first three days. Then yesterday, snuck from third place to first in that final round. How did it feel? I dreamed about my fondue last night. Oh, you took home the fondue set. Beautiful piece of kit. But you could still win the trophy as well. Don't forget. The man in pole position, though, for the trophy, John Robbins. Should we take a look at the leaderboard as it stands? I thought you were going to say, should we take a look at the highlights? <laughs> <laughs> Can we just slow-mo John's buzzer action? Just for a little bit. I just want to see how he does it. Here's the leaderboard. So you've got a three-point lead at the top there over Dom, but this is double points Friday. So Samira and Dom could very much still catch you. Dom, now, a lot of second places. Thank you, yeah. You were second place to John a lot. Now you're, then you were second place to Samira. I know, first loser, I call it. It would be a fitting end to the week were you to take it home would be nice. prize today. I'll be, be nice, honest right? with you, though, I'm, I'm mentally just a wreck. You're shot, you yeah. can't. There's a little, there's a couple of things to being about. The answer smash for me was better yesterday. Yes. But it was because it was flags and I like geography there's and flags. There's a chink of light there. Should we take a look at the prizes for today? There is the House of Games deck chair there, the House of Games sparkling wine. I wouldn't drink it. There's the House of Games cologne. I wouldn't wear it. There's the House of Games slippers there, okay. And the House of Games action doll. What would you go for, Dom, if you were to win today? I would take the cup and I would hand a consolation bottle of fizzy wine to whoever came second. Listen, what a week. John, three wins in a row. Samira won yesterday. Dom, I think you've been second place every day. Thank you. You could all still win. Angela, you cannot still win, but it no. is nothing more than a pleasure. And we need to get on to why you're not a dame yet. We will talk about that after about round two. <laughs> no, we won't. Yeah, well, <laughs> absolute outrage. I'm a right commander, that's enough. You're a commander? You're not a I'm dame. a scene commander. No, I'm a CBE. I'm a oh, commander. That's right. so that's and that's fine. quite a high one, that's, isn't it? That's, that's a really that's high good. one. That's, that's better than, than MBE stuff. That's, that's better than OBE and MBE. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. Can we just call you commander from Just now call me the commander. Oh, yes. Commander yes. Rippon. Do that. Yes. Mm. Commander Rippon. It's what Gloria and Julia great. call me, so that's fine. Beautiful. <laughs> Best of luck to you all. Round one today is... Correction Centre. I'm going to go down the line. I'm going to read you each a statement that is incorrect. But if you change one word in that statement, it becomes correct. You just need to tell me which word to change and to what, OK? Samira, we will start with you. Here is your statement. It's been an eventful few years for actor Bradley Walsh. He achieved his first UK number one single in 2018 and went on to win a Grammy and be nominated for an Oscar, all alongside his colleague Lady Gaga. Bradley Cooper. So we changed Walsh to Cooper. Absolutely right. Good start to the show. Well played, Samira. <laughs> Yesterday's champ. Off to a good start again. John, here's yours. Change one word to make this true, please. The United Nations declared 2019 the International Year of the Coffee Table in recognition of the 150th anniversary of its creation by Dmitry Mendeleev. I'm going to say change coffee table to calculator. We're only changing one word, so I think it's oh, going to be sorry. wrong. Samira. Coffee to periodic. Periodic table is absolutely right. <laughs> Commander Rippon, your statement here. Change one word of this, please. Jurors wrestle with coming to the correct verdict in a murder case in the classic film 12 Angry Birds. Oh, you've given me such a lovely easy one. Thank you. It's 12 Angry Men. Change birds to men. It is 1,200 men. Commander Rippon, well played. Dom. Yeah. Here's yours. During the recording of We Are The Champions, Huey Lewis sang the line originally intended for the absent prince. Change champions for world. During the recording of We Are The World. Well played, Dom. Nice start to say for you as well. We go back to Samira. What would you like to change here, Samira? Known for his thick coat and comedy timing, <laughs> Basil Fawlty can't help but utter his catchphrase, boom, boom, at every opportunity. Swap Fawlty for brush. Swap Fawlty for brush is absolutely right. John. 
Here is yours. A member of the woodwind family, the Corb Limey is an oboe-like <laughs> instrument that features a bulbous bell and a bent metal crook. Well, I know which word needs to go. OK. But I can't work out what would be a two-word instrument. So tell me how you could find out. We time you out and we have a buzzer. Oh, the core, OK, change Blimey to Net. Cornet. Oh, we changed Blimey to Net. <laughs> Samira. Change Blimey to Anglais. Core Anglais. <laughs> well played, Samira, the core Anglais. Angela. Here is your statement, please. Can you change one word to make it true? After a Cambridge College dinner, a tawny owl is often passed around the table for the dons to taste. <laughs> it would be very interesting if they did, and I don't know how it would fit in the decanter, but I suspect it's port. So change... Tawny owl into tawny port. Change owl to port. That's the right answer. Well done. Here is yours, Dom. Daniel Day-Lewis received an Oscar nomination for his role as a renowned dressmaker in the film Phantom Menace. I know it, but I can't remember it. Mm. Um, do you know what? I can't remember it. Nope, should no. we time you out? Yeah. John. Could we please change Menace to Thread? We could indeed. Phantom Thread is the answer. Well done. So that's the end of that round. Well played, everybody. Let's take a look at the scores. John and Ooh. Dom have one point each. Angela, you have two. Mm -hmm. Samira, yesterday's winner, leading again with four points. Very well played. <laughs> Let's get straight on and play round two, shall we? Today, that is going to be... <laughs> Dim Sums, a team game. The player in last place gets to choose their partner. Dom, you and John are tied in last place at the moment, but you've yet to choose a partner this week. So who would you like to play with? I would like to choose Samira. Oh, we haven't seen that team before. So it's Dom... funny, because I would have chosen you if I'd had a choice. There oh, go. that's nice. So John and Dom, if you'll swap places, please. Yeah. Our teams are Samira and Dom, right. Angela and I'm John. I'm terrible at maths, just to let you know. It, you don't need to be good at maths. Okay. Don't panic about the word sums. I'm promises. slightly panicking. It's a general knowledge I'm one. I'm very good at Asian cooking, so... Samira, Dom, I want you to choose a category, please. Blue, Geordies, France or the Winter Olympics? My instinct would be to go for blue or France. I'm happy with France. OK, let's France. do France. Yeah. Then. Yep, you're going to go with France? Yeah. OK, what I'm going to do now is show you a sum that you need to complete, OK? Here is your sum. Something, add something, equals 70, OK? You've got to fill in that sum with two of the answers of the clues you're about to see. The date in July that Bastille Day is celebrated. The age and years of Emmanuel Macron when he was elected President of France. The last two digits of the year that France most recently hosted the FIFA World Cup. And to the nearest mile, the length of the Channel Tunnel. Oh, OK. So two of those answers add up to 70. 14? Yeah. 39? So 14 and 39... It's not right. It's not right. I mean, 39 might not be right, but well, 14 Well, yeah, but he, he's right. not much older than that, is it? So, World Cup year... Is that 98? Oh, if you so added that, that would be 17. Well, 98 plus something, we're not going to make 70, are we? Oh, I see, it's 98. Yeah. Would be that would be the digit. Yeah, so it's got to be in the 2000s, okay, isn't it? Well, I, th I think we've got to go for Macron's age, don't okay. you? Yeah. I'm going to say 39. OK. Which would leave... What does that leave? 31. So could the channel tunnel length be 31? Could it be that long? I think so. I don't know. It's 25 the, miles, something like that. It's only 20 miles, I thought. But maybe... It goes further. Maybe it does a corner. I'm... <laughs> <laughs> I think let's go for Macron plus channel tunnel now. I then. agree. You're going with Macron's age when elected plus the length of the channel tunnel. Let's see, do they add up to 70? Macron's age when elected... 39, yes. exactly. That's a fact. So, yeah. If the Channel Tunnel is 31 miles in length, you just won yourself a point. Yes, yes, yes. Is it? We haven't got it yet. Oh, sorry. Absolutely oh. right. Very well played. Just high five. So there are Thank, Thank you very much. Let's take a look at the answers. You knew the other two. Best of your date was 14 and it was 98. It was 98. Angela and John, would you choose a category, please? 
Blue Geordies or the Winter Olympics? I'm tempted by Winter Olympics. My dad was a Geordie, uh, but apart from that, I don't know too many others. Would you like to go for Winter Olympics? Oh, yeah. OK. Here's fine. Winter Olympics. Here is your sum. What minus what equals 10? The maximum number of players a team can have on the ice at one time during an ice hockey match. The number of medals Great Britain won at the 2018 Winter Olympics. The number of countries that competed in the very first Winter Olympics in 1924. And the final position of Canada on the 2018 Winter Olympics medals table. Crikey. Is ice hockey team seven or eight, isn't it? It's quite low. Yeah, it's only seven or eight, I think. Team GB medal at 2018, that's going to be, I reckon, between <sighs> one and ten. Countries Canada? in the first Winter Olympics, when did they? There wouldn't have been a lot because there never is in the Winter Olympics as many mm. as in the Summer Olympics. Yeah, I'm tempted to say it's countries in the winter, first Winter Oli Olympics either minus players in the ice hockey team or Canada's position in the yeah. table. Well, shall we say countries in the first Winter Olympics minus players in an ice hockey team? OK, so we'll start yes. with those countries in the first Winter Olympics. We need that to be above 10. It is 16. Interesting. So you need yeah. six to come off that. Yeah. Is that the number of players in an ice hockey team? I think there's seven. It oh, is, is right. six. How about that? May I shake your hand? Yes! Beautifully done, yes. Commander. Let's take a look at the other two answers there. Team GB medals was five and Canada were third on that list. That's the end of that round. If John and Dom, you want to swap back around, please? That was, that was tough. Yeah. Well played. That was tough. Mm. That made me feel sick. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> It's My brain it? hurts so much. <laughs> Let's take a look at the leaderboard, shall we? At the end of that round, it is Friday's House of Games. Double points Friday. Someone is going to win the trophy at the end of today's show. Here's how we stand. Nice and close. John and Dom, two points each. Angela, you have three. Yesterday's winner, Samira, is in the lead with five points. Very well done, Samira. It's going to be a close one today. Three more rounds to go. Three more rounds till we hand out that trophy. What is the next round going to be? Second I press this buzzer, we will find out. <laughs> Opposites attract. What I'm going to do now is show you a series of categories. I'll then give you the clue to an answer in that category, but the clue will be the opposite of the answer. Fingers on buzzers, please, everybody. First things you are going to guess are all... 90s bands. What band is the opposite of this? Give this. Yes, Dom. Take that. Take that. <laughs> Next 90s band is... Focus. <sighs> yes, Dom. Blur. Blur, well played. Good round so far for Dom, your third 90s band. Sugar Boys. Yes, Dom. Spice Girls. Spice Girls, <laughs> absolutely. Dominating on 90s bands. Let's get on to our next category, which is... Surnames of Conservative Prime Ministers. These are the opposites. Rap. Yes, Dom. <laughs> Fold. That's the wrong answer, I'm afraid. John. Peel? Oh, oh. must be. Is it Peel? Yeah. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> Who is this a clue to, please? Slater. Dom. Thatcher. Thatcher. Opposite of Slater. Um, your final Conservative Prime Minister. Do not have permission to. John. Major. It's not, I'm afraid. Unlucky. Samira. Let. Let. Correct, I'm afraid. Yes, Tom. Bonner Law? I don't know. <laughs> Bonner Law? I mean, <laughs> I why mean... not? Nope. Shall we have a little look? Yeah. yeah. Oh, my May. God! Hey! Oh, no! 
How soon oh we forget. God. Ooh. How soon yeah. we forget. Yeah. That is so annoying. That's really That's annoying. Really... Imagine if you're at home. I was going through all the historical yeah. ones. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine if you're at home and you got that straight away yeah. and you're watching all five of us going, I, t I can't yes. think of one. Imagine if you're Theresa May watching that, just going, <laughs> really? <laughs> Next category. Booker Prize winning novels. These are the opposites of the titles. Noon's Grown Ups. Dom. Midnight's Children. Correct. Midnight's Children. <laughs> Salman Rushdie. Next Booker Prize winning novel. The Leaves of the Night. Yes. The Dom. Remains of the Day. The Remains of the Day, yes. <laughs> and the final question of this round, what is this the opposite to? Sheep Shack. Angela. Wolf Hall. <gasps> Great. Is it Wolf stuff. Hall? Yes. Great. It is. Nicely done. <laughs> I actually got to the buzzer before. That's right, right. I was all about goats with that. Yeah, <laughs> I, think, I think you're the only one who knew it there. Yeah, yeah, was that the, was uh, great. Thing, well couldn't get that at all. That's the end of that round. Very good round for Dom Jolly there. Let's take a look at the scores. We have two rounds to go before we give out our trophy. Double points Friday. Here's how we stand. John has three, Angela has four, Samira has five, Dom Jolly in the lead with eight points. Well played, Dom. Oh. I can't play this game anymore. It's just so tense. John had a, John had a three-point lead on the leaderboard, but double points Friday. Yeah. It could be anyone. Samira, Dom, John, any of you could still be winning that trophy. And Angela and I are going to watch you do it. We are. We are. Yeah. Two rounds to go. Round four today is... And the answer isn't. Now, before the show, you did a bit of homework on this. I'm going to ask you each a question that has got four possible answers. One of those answers is correct. The other three answers are fakes written by your opponents. OK? So if you pick the correct answer, you score yourself a point. If you pick something that your opponent has written, they will win the point. Samira, we will start with you. Here is your question. What did baseball player Babe Ruth reportedly keep under his cap to help stay cool? Did he keep under his cap? A cabbage leaf? A cucumber, marbles, these are all good, or a raccoon tail. What are you thinking? I'm trying not to think too much. I just think a cabbage leaf is a cooling thing, so I'd go for cabbage leaf. Is the correct answer cabbage leaf? Has Samira scored a point or has she given a point to one of her opponents? She scored a point. Very nicely done. Let's find out who wrote the other cucumber was. John, nice marbles. Angela. <laughs> and raccoon tail. I mean, yeah, you could see that. Just sounded American. Yeah, it did. Yeah, absolutely right. Well done. If you said cabbage leaf at home. John, question for you now, with four possible answers. What is the middle name of musician Quincy Jones? Is it... Ellington? Barnaby? Delight? Or Olaf? Um, well, I think Olaf is, is, this is not. Delight is the only one I can't imagine someone making up because it just sort of wouldn't pop into your head as a name, so I'm going to go for Delight. John, have you scored a point or have you given a point to your opponents? Well done. Right, again, that was well nice, done. Nice guessing work there. Yeah, really good work. Uh, who wrote the others? Eddington was... Samira. Clever. Try to. Too clever. Barnaby was... Angela and Olaf was Dom. It was a wild card. Absolutely <laughs> right. Sometimes they work. Yeah. Angela, here's a question for you. Four possible answers. In 2013, what did the City of Melbourne Council assign to around 70,000 trees in the city? Did they assign... ..email addresses? Condemnation orders as disease affected? Poet in residence, protected status. One of those is true. Three of them were made up by your opponents. You'd assume it would be a toss-up between condemnation orders because they were affected by disease or protected status. 
completely off the top of my head then, because I think it would be a lovely thing for any city to do, is to give a poet in residence to their trees to write something lovely about them. That would be lovely, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it be nice? I think I would go for that, but for the same reason, which is it would yes, be nice. But, but it's probably no idea. quite wrong. Angela, have you scored a point or have you given a point to one of your opponents? You've given a point to one of your opponents. Mm. Firstly, let's check out what the correct answer was. Email addresses. No. Really? That's the right wow. answer, yeah. How about Goodness. that? Goodness. Who writes to them? Just for people, if there are any problems with the tree, you can write to the, their individual email address. Right. You have given a point to whoever said poet in residence, and that was, could be very important this point, John Robbins gets the point. Well done, John. Disease affected was... Samira, you and I were on the same. Samira, yeah, yeah wavelength. protected status. Dom, a final question in this yeah. round. You have a question, you have four answers. Can you spot the truth from the fakes? The 2018 Guinness World Records book recognised 84-year-old Jim Arrington as the world's oldest what? One of these is right, three of them have been made up. Boy Scout? Male stripper? Pilot? Male bodybuilder? Those are good again. So, I don't, I don't think Guinness World Records would do male stripper. Male bodybuilder again, possibly. Boy Scout, I mean, that's possible as well. Pilot, I reckon there'd be an older, older pilot, weirdly. I mean, the Boy Scout would just, he just would be, so they don't need to recognise it particularly, he wouldn't have to prove it. Also, can he be a Boy Scout at 84? So you're an old man scout, I'm putting that out. Male stripper, I'm putting out. Male bodybuilder, I'm putting out. The world's oldest. I'm going to go for pilot, I think. You're going to go pilot. Mm. Dom, have you just won yourself a point? Have you given a point to one of your opponents? Is it pilot? <laughs> it's not pilot. Let's see what it was first. Really? Bodybuilder. Really? They must be older ones than that. Oh, so how do you prove you're a bodybuilder? You can I just was... go lift one weight and go, I'm a bodybuilder. <laughs> <laughs> maybe he's competing. That's the test. Oh, yes, maybe. Maybe competitive bodybuilder. Dom, okay. you've given a point to one of your opponents. Yeah, Again, sure. could be very important. Who have you given a point to? Who said pilot? Angela. Angela. Well done, Angela. The relief when you said Angela. Yeah. Uh, Angela. <laughs> <laughs> Not John. <laughs> Anything no. but John. Yeah. <laughs> no harm done. Who wrote Boy Scout? John. Male stripper was Samira. Comedy, comedy answer. answer. We're done on that round. We only have one round to go in the whole week. We've and it's your favourite round. What is that round? <laughs> Let's take a look at the scores first, <laughs> shall we? This is getting mighty, mighty close oh. now. John and Angela tied for third. Five each. Samira, you have six. Dom, you have eight. Listen, we saw what the leaderboard was like. This is going to be very, very, very close indeed. So what is what the last final round? round? We're going to have it is, of course, our old friend. Capitals of the world. Answer smash. Oh, there's a turn up. Fingers on buzzers, everybody. I love this round. Point for a correct answer, point off for an incorrect answer. It all comes down to this round. Someone's walking off with the trophy. Who is it going to be? We're about to find out. I wish you the very, very best of luck. Here is your first category. Literary figures. Those will be the pictures. There'll be clues underneath. Here is your first one. Which section of Westminster Abbey has memorials to writers, including Shakespeare and Jane Austen? Yes, Samira. Edgar Allan Poets' Corner. Beautiful. It's the right answer, yeah. Samira Edgar Allan Poe on Poets' Corner. <laughs> Next question. Derived from the Greek for narrow and writing, what term denotes someone who records what is said in a court of law? Yes, Dom. Jane Austenographer. Is the right answer, Jane Austenographer. <laughs> who is this? And what's the answer to this clue, please? Granville and Albert Artwright are characters in which BBC comedy? <laughs> Samira. Alexander Pope in All Hours. Is that the correct answer? <laughs> it is Alexander Pope in All Hours. <laughs> Next category. This is super, super close. 
orchestral oh, instruments. God. Those will be the pictures. There will be clues underneath. Smash them together, please. Who's going to win the trophy? What is the English name of the German state in which the cities of Munich and Regensburg are located? That is Samira. Um, Turing, oh. Sorry, yeah, I had no. to take it straight away. You lose a point. Anybody else? Don. Tubavaria. Is it Tubavaria? It is Tubavaria. Well done. Tuba and Bavaria. Next instrument. Which song was a number two hit for Moose T versus Hot and Juicy in 1998? Yes, that is John. French horny. Is it French horny? It certainly is. French horn and horny. What's the song? Horny. horny. Oh, horny, horny, horny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. OK, yeah. Next instrument. What is the official state nickname of Texas? Yes, Piccolo Angela. and Star. It is Piccolo and Lone Star. Well done. Piccolo and Star. Next category. Modes of transport. Fingers on buzzers, point for a correct answer. Steve Buscemi starred as Enoch Nucky Thompson in which TV drama first broadcast in the US in 2010? Yes, that is John. Skateboard Walk Empire. Skateboard Walk Empire is the right answer. Skateboard Board Walk Empire. <laughs> Nicely done. Next picture, next clue. <laughs> We no. have no time. To take <laughs> Usually I've got an idea. I don't know who's won today and I don't know who's won the trophy. Let's take a look at who won today's House of Games. It is... Dom Jolly. Dom Jolly has taken it. Dom, you have a prize to take. What would you like? The onesie, please. I'm afraid that's <laughs> unavailable. You have to choose one of these disappointing prizes. Take the doll. Going to take the, uh, the House of Games action doll. Well done, Dom. But we have the small matter, and I say small matter advisedly, of this trophy. Is it a high-quality trophy? This should answer your question. <laughs> <laughs> it certainly is. It's double points Friday, so Dom has just taken home eight points there. Who is our House of Games champion for this week? What a week it's been, super competitive all the way through, great quizzing all the way through. There can only be one champion, and that champion is... John oh. Robbins by oh, one point. Amazing. John, you are our champion, Samira. If you pass that to him. Thank you very much. Look at that. that. Is top banana. 2019 16. I uh, would just like to thank all the other contestants for making it such a tense nail bite. Oh, that, I mean, that was properly. I think you probably deserve that. I, have to I think he needs it? a sash as well, yeah. like Tiara. Dom, you were second so often. So lovely to see that you finish so with a win. Do you know what? I'm really Stop. pleased I won a day. That's yeah. kind of exactly happy. Right. I thought that was a good. And for and Samira won a day as well, so yeah. you took home your fondue set. I wasn't You're that very far happy. Behind, finally, you weren't wasn't at it? all. Angela, you should be a dame. I don't care what you say, <laughs> that's my opinion. Thank you all so much. It's been such a fun week. We'll see you again next time on The House of Games.